What's up guys, I wanna show you some secrets that some modern Subarus have that are from the late teens and newer, depending on your trim level, of course. These are for the ones that have the proximity key right here, that have the automatic hatch to lift and lower, and then they have the pin code for access on the back that I think a lot of people don't know about. So to start, if you have a reason to leave your key in the car, say you're swimming, hiking, doing something outside, whatever your reason, you can actually deactivate the key and put it into sleep mode, and then you can leave it in the car. To do that, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is hold the lock button, and then at the same time, double click the emblem that is the unlock button, and then it'll flash four times. So if you can see that, okay, here we go. Lock, unlock. There's the beeping. Let's go try it, see if it'll open for us. Nope, it didn't. So two ways to get back in, actually three ways. You can do the code as we'll talk about in just a minute. You can hit the unlock button and that wakes the remote right up as I'll show you here. Or as you guys may or may not know, there is the key that is hidden right in there. So three ways to get back into the car once you have deactivated your key. Another cool thing, let's go to the hatch. So there's three ways to open the hatch. You can have the key, you can have either the emblem sensor or the button underneath. I'm gonna count that as one. Or you can go inside the car and you can hit the button there. Let's do that option first. This button right here allows the tailgate to be allowed to use the emblem sensor. Right now it's on, so I'm gonna let you guys see what that looks like. All you have to do is put your hand right in front, wait for it to beep a couple times. Okay, it's off, so you can see that right now it's not working. This one you don't have to hold, you just have to push it once. Let's try that again now. Awkward moments, right? There we go. And it opens right up. Then we can just lock it with the button on the remote. You have to hold that for it to go through the process. If you just push it until it beeps twice, it just stays in place. So then let's go to the next thing. Say you guys are in a garage, you have limited hatch space as you might have seen just now. The hatch lifts higher than the rails. So if you have anything on the roof, a rack, a tent, a kayak, anything like that, or you're just limited by the external space in this area, you're gonna have a tough time with where you can park the Subaru to fully open it. So between the button that's underneath the emblem, between the remote right here, or between the button right here, you can open it, hold it until it beeps, it'll start to move, push it where you want it to stay. You can see it's just partially open. That could also be like if you guys are car camping, if you have lumber, two by four sticking out the back, any reason like that, then you can easily lower it with the remote. I'll also show you guys from this way, there's that button, that's right under here. We're gonna open it and then push it. Same thing, kind of a nifty feature. We're gonna lower it back down now. All right guys, let's finish with the pin code. How many of you guys know about that? Right there, if you guys can see that. So I'll show you the pin that I just barely made for it. Wait for the beep. Two, three, four, five. And you can hear that, it unlocked. It's a five digit pin that you guys have to enter. You can do up to like four or five digits for each of those five, but it has to be five. And it's unlocked now, you can see it's lit up. Door is obviously opening. Kind of cool. I'm going to show you how to set your own pin now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to actually let's turn off the Subaru emblem sensor because that kind of gets in the way. That is off. Going to lock the car now. And then we're going to head over to the pin access point. What we have to do is we have to hold the lock button and the pin button at the same time. So there's one, there's that one. It should beep in just a second. All right, we're gonna hit the unlock button. We have just a short window to do that. And then we're gonna enter the code.
they can't all be ones, at least one has to be two, so we'll finish with a double. It's gonna beep again, and then we're gonna have to re-enter the pin. Two, three, four, double click the fifth. There we go, it unlocks, you can hear all the beeping. All right, let's try that now. We're gonna, un we're gonna lock the car. I'm gonna deactivate the remote again. I don't think it focused in time, but the key's now off. We'll double check. All right, guys, let's see if it worked. One, two, three, four. Not bad. I hope this video finds you guys well, as mentioned earlier, and I hope that this served a purpose for you guys. If it did, please like, comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a lot more. There's gonna be a little bit more Subaru stuff, a lot more other automotive stuff and performance videos coming. So take care guys.